Hi, Cedric. All right, let's go. Emma! Jesus Christ. She <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> Man. God damn, it sucks ass. <coughs> that was scared of shit out of me. Emma, is that you? Getting up there, ain't it, buddy? Okay, yeah, let me walk back down there. Hi, Nair. this well that bodes ill How are you? I'm good. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you, Kenny. Huh. Maybe there's something here. I love you guys too. Hi, hi. Looking good as always, killed as always. I do not look good today. I'm literally in. All you can t see is a blanket and a headset and some pink ass hair. Okay, so I have to go down. I love you too, Cedric.
An eye for an eye, not technically in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything and will play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. <coughs> Hi, Russell. For the share set, Russell. <laughs> oh, God, Emma. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. oh, my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hi, Andrew. You left me back there, you asshole. God, Emma, come on. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. I should have took the damn gun. Hi, Max. Good mate. <coughs> I just have really bad lungs that I just woke up. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was... I'm missing three places. I wish I would stop getting that. Like what? What? It was like what, Emma? Like out of a horror movie. Okay. Um. Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. It, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mmm. Well, quite the funky bouquet. Okay. <coughs> okay. Hi, Vipers. Where did my chat just go? Hi, Leslie! Oh my god, it's Leslie! Not this shit again. You're kidding me! My chat is not working. <clears throat> it sucks. Yo, give me a second. I have to. Hi, Sean. 
Okay, I see Viper, I see Leslie, I see Kenny. I wish I could show you, like, if my chat on my screen is gone. Which is so annoying to me. Hi, Andrew! Usually you don't have a little bar that says latest comments and it literally just disappeared. Give me a second. I'm about to shrink. Hi, Gregory. I don't know if I know what percentage is. It feels like nobody does. Hi, Brandon. I'm kind of aggravated because my chat bot isn't working, but whatever. All right. <laughs> We've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <laughs> <coughs> if I miss any comments, I miss you more, Leslie. If I miss any comments right now, I'm sorry. It's because I have them on a little phone. And I've got to make sure I hit the right buttons. the wrong decision. to see if I could go back and save her. Hi, Pookie Bear.
I was pried open. Oh, 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 shit. No, oh, no. Oh, oh. 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 Look, you could. <coughs> I don't think they're trying to hurt us. I think they're trying to keep us safe, to be honest. Thank you. Is she like one of those hunting dudes? I don't think so. She's my rational one. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Haley Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Haley. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell sick. Shoot Kaylee Hackett. Should we call someone or? Fuck, Chris. How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, I know. Hey, Stan. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off. Uh, watch out. I said get off. He's turning into one of those things. I do. I, I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. You can save him. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Maybe the hunters can. Oh, quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Thank you, Jason. <coughs> this is all I can from Rosa Station. Ooh, hi. Better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. You need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. I was Andrew. Yeah. That oh, I miss you, Cedric. Explaining, huh? Easy, man. It's kind of like until dawn, Leslie. We need photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you've got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? It's like shit, man. It's 
thought maybe this would be a perfect place for a tarot card, but I guess not. <coughs> okay, do you remember the Little Hope games that I, were, I was playing? It's kind of like those two. I wonder where Caleb is. Where you have to like pick through the choices and stuff. This was so <coughs> very different like twelve hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Oh. Mm, rabies? He was frothing in the mouth. I think Abby would beg to differ. Boy. Hi, Brian! Wait, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You like me. What's next? Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with Abel's son. Such a... Oh, it's such a... What? Such a cop out of <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? It's after you. Uh, yeah. Okay. I hope you like me, Abby. I do like you. No, I mean that. Like, you're not by yourself, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. <coughs> what? I'm afraid by smart art. This isn't you. This, this isn't you. I... Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. I'm not shooting him. I think we can cure him.
Get some rest, Brian. I'm going camping right now. Everybody flexes in their bed. I don't have mine. You should have your badges. No, never mind. I thought we were talking about something else. My bad. All right, let me see if I can't repick my choices with Abby. Option to, <coughs> to save her. I liked her the best. Well, I tried, okay? I don't even know what chapter I'm on.
There's a total of 186 different endings. <coughs> Damn. See, I told you you could cure him. <coughs> Damn it, I wish I could go back. To save Nick, you'll need to make one specific decision in Chapter 8. So he's going to turn no matter what. I could still save him, though. I should have shot him. From what I'm reading, it says I should have shot him. <coughs> if I would have shot him with Abigail... My eyebrows are not. Hers are. Yeah. Wow. So he would have turned no matter what, but you could still save him. If I would have shot him with Abby, she would have lived. Okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters. I would go to the lodge. To the lodge. I hate her and her fucking phone. Hmm. Why am I still over then? I had no idea the kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. I officially suck at counselors. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett is teaching us so much. <coughs> nature is teaching us so much about nature and being safe in the woods. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he is lying just to scare me, but I draw a picture of her anyway. That's what Abby found. She looks quite angry, but I think sometimes when people are angry, they are just sad instead. We're going sailing on the lake tomorrow. I can't wait. Love from Rowan. This letter matches the drawing in the pool house, but why is it torn up? Maybe there's something to the ghost story. Jesse showing off.
We must have done this. Would you? I hate her. Like, she is the hardest ki character to kick. She has a stupid phone and it doesn't twist right. That's okay. Good night, Andrew. I don't understand. Get him, Leslie. You guys, I had a troll last night. And it was funny because I was like, I just, I wasn't like the normal self. Because he was like, get a life and da da da. I was like, dude, I'm a mom of three. I was like, I don't have to come on here and do this. I do it because I want to. It's fun. And, um, and he, I, he quickly was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just like to fuck with people and troll. He was like, but you got tough skin. I really like you. 
and he followed me and stuff. It was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. They crack me up when they come in and they're like talking smack. But they quickly are like, oh no, she's cool. <coughs> I know you guys, you guys would have been like Van Hammer. But it's cool. But it was funny. It was alright. Place is a lot harder to navigate at night. <laughs> really, five and New Year's. Shut up, Kenny. I hate this flashlight in her. I really do. The controls on it suck. You actually can't really see. Before Pop is doing it fast, as you did. <coughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> fucking kids. Son. Stop! Stop squirming! Give me a drink. Is she big? Huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. They just wanted to help her, and she's like an idiot. Caitlin! Ryan! Abby! Didn't you see? Abby's dead. 
Thanks to me. Have you seen the new Jinx chair? <coughs> I haven't seen it, Jesse. I'm excited for the new Final Fantasy VII Remake. Look, we, we just gotta focus. We, we can still get out of this a lot together, okay? Uh, not all of us. Yeah, no shit. supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should kiss him. Okay. okay. Alright, well, the door. let's let everybody no, else just, die. Keep your hands up, okay? <coughs> Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what we've found? You're not gonna reprimand me? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible... Oh, yeah. Features? No, I did see that, Jesse. I want to play that. I'd like to play the Dead Space series on here. I haven't played them in, like, eight years. Off you go, then. Chop, chop. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake.
Max turned. Oh. I won't be able to play that one. Have you done the max? Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley is my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. I'm gonna be as compliant as I can. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh. Why were you going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. If you just step in some grade A double crime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. Hi, Andrew. I want her to live. That's good. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. He turned. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm kind of all mixed up, but. More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked. The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and stuff everywhere just um werewolves I mean, what the I think. fuck happened i was kind of hoping 
hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Hill, apparently. North Hill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Hill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Given you. Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? <coughs> Sorry, sir, we'll be quiet. You will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? the bar. Come on. Poor Max. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Stop struggling. Max, I told you how you only had to reverse. Hold on. If I'm in a situation. Okay. <laughs> Not in a situation where I'm in a prison cell. They're on the outside, and, like, I'm not gonna make things worse on myself. The more compliant and stuff I am with the person, the better off I'll be. In my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I just feel like... I feel like I'd make things worse if I didn't comply. There's gotta be something in here we can use. I'm gonna be the most cooperative I can with the police officer. <coughs> While the town of North Hill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decayed, wolves and their prey, and the sheriff came to news he was creeping. While the town of North Kill lay sleeping, the hag in the woods started creeping, started weeping, 
As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues creeping. Need some sort of lever. <laughs> that could work. True. Yes. <coughs> You're right, Leslie. Shit, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Shit. The second we get out. Answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, Cakes. Work with us here. We have nothing to bargain for. Come on. Come on! <laughs> hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hi. But you're right, Leslie. Go Hi, on. guy! I tried to play the pro cooperative person, like, if, like I would in real life. Binky bonky. Son of a binky bonky. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> Well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade cab. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. <coughs> Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor 
kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's <coughs> not acting like the typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming <coughs> about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. <coughs> You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great, sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when <coughs> it started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... there's nobody there, and we get attacked by... something, and then the cop shows up. It's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is, Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember, 
before we got lost? You got lost. We, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. She's I'm about saying, to... You know, maybe there's a slight chance <coughs> it was a werewolf. Are you out of your... Goddamn mind? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, uh, zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again. You're on your own. Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just <coughs> campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And the fixed bite with which your face cleaved limb from torso with great taste. What? You did the right thing. See? You got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. That's crazy. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. We're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just so what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. Alright, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. He doesn't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. 
Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. Hey, what's he gonna do to us that's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though. You know, that's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Really? Careful. Really? Genius. But what about my shower? I said, take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an intern. Let me go! You're not going <coughs> to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time, Wendy. Jeez. Don't get too far. Mr. Key, come in. What's your position? Over. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Well, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Damn. Hi, Willie. Hi, Ian. <coughs> Are
Or is it Lane? See if that bastard caught fighting. It never just showed me what was behind that. Where are you hiding, Travis? Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. That was weird. No. 
not so much a hint as a slap in the face. rest soon. Fifty-six. That means he was born in and see what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in a sec. I said that. But I guess I can't leave Max. But I could sneak in, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Yeah, sorry. I'm distracted. This is a new game for me, and it's... Fuck yeah. Sure. So, 
What happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Hill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady, alleged bigamy. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. I need to hide the syringe. There we go. Tell me what happened. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Happy? some coffee. If I'd have had that syringe, he'd have found it. <coughs> What's this? An education. Watch it. Job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in their textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Well, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. 
you know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. What? I'm not. This isn't what it seemed to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max Hi. are just as much trouble as I am. My family, they didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? <coughs> Not really. This family's the... Hi, guy! Hi, Willie! Hi! Wow. They're all come flooding in. We? Yeah. I fixed my confidence. Okay. No, I didn't. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? No one's going to me. You're going to do this for Max, and I'm going to get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. From full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one moves lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, it shuns pure water. Then should you your Hi, David. be cursed, armed with silver, end the first. When moon is full before it wanes, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight, or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. The chances save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. <laughs>